Alright, gonna show you the main proof text of the Trinitarians, the main verse they always love to run to to prove their pagan trinity. Here it is, 1 John 5, 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three persons are one. Oh, wait a second, it doesn't say that. These three are one unity. It doesn't say that either. These three are one in essence. Oh, wait, it doesn't say that either. It says these three are one. Three in one. Not three persons, not one in essence, one in unity, three in one. You can compare that to John 10, 30, where Jesus says, I and my Father are one. You compare that to back in John chapter 17, where Jesus says, you know, where he talks about, he's praying to the Father, and he says, we are one. You know, he that has seen me has seen the Father, John 14, 9. You know, um, Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3 talks about how Jesus is the image of the Father, the express image of the Father's person. They're not three persons, they are one God in the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Okay? So where does, again, they love to run to 1 John 5, 7. Oh, 1 John 5, 7 proves the Trinity. Okay, where is three persons mentioned? Where is divine essence? Where is one unity? It just says these three are one. Because God is one being. He's not three persons or, or three gods or whatever. You know, you have three persons who all, all, all claim to be God, but they're only one God, apparently. You know, uh, the Trinity, all it is is just pagan polytheism repackaged. I mean, there are plenty of, of pagan gods, uh, like Hindu god. Like there's, a, there's actually a Hindu trinity. I'm not sure if you knew that, but there's actually a uh, Hindu trinity, a, a triple deity god in Hinduism. The pagan Romans believed in a triple deity god. The Egyptians did. Isis, Horus, Set, or Zeb, whatever you want to call them. Uh, the Celts believed that too. So this, this idea of a three deity god is actually not uh, only, well, not, not, well, I'll put it this way is not only found in Roman Catholic paganism. It's found in, in pre-Catholic pagan religions. And you, go, and, and you say, well, why is that the case? Well, here's how it works. Because Satan is a counterfeiter of God. He counterfeits stuff that God does. Satan has seen the biblical Godhead. He knows what the biblical Godhead is, so he, he wants to counterfeit it. That's what the Trinity is. It's a counterfeit of the biblical Godhead. Because God is three in one, and, and the three can separate. You see, like, where Jesus is at the right hand of the Father, the baptism of Jesus, he's on, he's in the water, the Father's in heaven, the Holy Ghost comes down like a dove. He wasn't a dove, he came down like a dove. You know, like a dove, not a dove. But you see a separation there. But nor does the Bible say there are three persons, or they're, they're one in essence, they're one in unity. And the word Trinity does not, not appear at all in the Bible. The word Godhead does appear in the Bible three times, I believe it is. But Satan has seen the biblical Godhead, so he wants to pervert it and create this trinity, which is a perversion of the biblical Godhead. So, I just wanted to go through that. First John 5, 7 does not prove the trinity. It proves the biblical Godhead, because these three are one. You know, again, I and my Father are one, John 10, 30. You know, all this other stuff. Uh, a, 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 good, a good way to refute the trinity also, a bit of a side note, is in Matthew 10, or Matthew 28, 19, we're told to baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, but in Acts chapter... Let me just check, actually. Acts chapter, I think it's either 19 or 9. Chapter 19, verse 5. Uh, they're, we're told to baptize in the name of Jesus. So how does that work? Are there two baptisms? Because the Bible says there's one baptism. How does that work? Because the fullness of the Godhead dwells in Jesus Christ. You know, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, they all dwell in Jesus Christ. You know, again, uh, Colossians 2, 9. For all in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. So just, that was a side note, but you know that was free, by the way. But yeah, the Godhead is not found, or the, the Trinity. Sorry, slipped up, slipped up right there. I know my enemies are probably going to take that and twist it and say, "Look, he denies the Godhead." You know, I, I guarantee they're going to come out with that. But First uh, John five seven does not prove the pagan Trinity. It proves the biblical Godhead. Okay. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Goodbye.